Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching for more details. This season on Gold Rush, fans are bashing the inconsiderate bosses on the show. It seems the only two miners with their acts together are Parker Schnabel and Tony Beats. However, when it comes to other bosses on the show, fans feel they leave a lot to be desired. Here is why fans consider several bosses on the Discovery Network show to be inconsiderate. Rick Ness left his crew high and dry on Gold Rush. This season of Gold Rush started with a huge surprise. Rick Ness never showed up for work. The show had Parker, Tony, Fred Lewis, and the Clayton brothers as the main miners, but a lot of people wonder where Rick was. This included his own crew. What was shocking was when his crew had to find him. When they located where he was, they approached him and asked why he wasn't at the mining site for the new season. He explained that he was suffering from depression issues and had sought professional help. He then said he wouldn't be back this season. On Reddit, one person thought this was highly inconsiderate of his crew. It wasn't that he took the season off. It was that he just left them high and dry and they had to find him to see what was going on. Rick Miss doesn't bother to tell his crew that he isn't coming to the Yukon this last year, the Redditor posted. So they show up anyways and start prepping the mine for action only be left wondering where Rick is. Fred Lewis remains dishonest on Gold Rush. On a different level, Fred Lewis is there for his crew. However, one thing that many Redditors have noticed is that he isn't very honest with them. One Redditor said that every promise that Fred makes is a lie. One Redditor even said that Fred never expected to find any gold this season at all. Fred wasn't even trying to get gold and just wanted to go camping all summer, and everyone knew the site had no gold, a Redditor commented. They went on to say that the crew that actually wanted to work and find gold were angry when they realized this entire story was just thrown into cover for Rick's absence. Dave Turin is trying to cheat his crew. Finally, the most recent addition to this season of Gold Rush was Dave Turin. However, fans were immediately turned off by what Dave did when he first showed up. He said he lost a major investor and had to sell everything. He then offered to sell it to two of his most trusted crew members. Dave Turin drags his remaining team back to Alaska just to tell them that he is selling the mine and by the way, he wants to sell it to them. Oh, and you need to make a million dollar decision and somehow get funded for that today. A Redditor wrote, if Dave couldn't make money off it, why would he try to take money from his crew for a site that was already failing? Do you feel the gold rush bosses are inconsiderate? Let us know your thoughts on Rick, Fred, and Dave in the comments below.